Hey, what's up, everybody? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're changing the engine under the hood. It's time for a new sump, and let's show you how it was done. Okay, so here we are the day of the uh, change out. The old sump sitting there getting ready to be taken out. I don't have a lot of video of the whole entire process due to the fact that while we're doing this, I was busy and just forgot to set up the phone. The, all the equipment from the old sump is sitting in buckets uh, waiting for it to be used. Okay, so here's the tank as it sits on top of the stand. Uh, my buddy Glenn put a brace in, on the part of the stand uh, because we had to cut out the center support. Because of the size of the new sump, um, we could not swing it in. So that center support had to be cut out in order to get the tank in. Here's water being mixed for when the new sump is put in because again, it's a larger sump. It's gonna require more water to fill up the system. Now here he is, uh, this is Glenn. He's gonna make the first cut on the bottom of the center brace. Uh, obviously we're not gonna go through this whole process so I'm gonna be skipping ahead. The sawzall was the easiest tool to do this with uh, because circular saws wouldn't be able to get into that area. Here I am checking the tank, making sure everything's level and the vibration is not going to knock my rockscape down. Uh, now, just about this time, he's going to come through on his first cut right there. And we both let out a little sigh of relief that that first cut was done. Now the second cut starts now it gets serious because whatever support this is going to give us in case of a, uh, a failure is going to be gone. It's going to be just relying solely on that brace that he has uh, put in temporarily. And here he is. He's finishing up the top cut. I checked the tank. I looked away. And then when I look back down, as you'll see in a second, because right now I'm really worrying about the tank. It's gone. And I'm amazed that everything's done. Now we jumped ahead to, um, this is where he's screwing, the, the sump is in, and he's screwing the center support back into place. He used liquid nails and two inch screws to uh, screw it right back into the frame of the stand. But at this point, I'm starting to breathe a lot easier that everything got done. Here's the final uh, look at it sump is in drain pipes down in, in it and i've started to shim it to make sure that it's all level so now my job begins here i am checking you can see right now we not a lot of weight is being put on that center support which amazed me because that liquid nail should have been squeezed out of there and um here i am filling starting to fill the sump up i have that pump in the middle just to keep water circulating because all this time I'm not pushing water back up into the main tank and I just want to keep the salt water moving and keep it properly aerated and heated. Right now um, the water level is starting to rise as you can see. Um, I'm waiting for it to go over that first baffle because I want to make sure it evenly goes over because that will prove that my tank is level. So. There it is, all level. And you can see how, how much this, this design by Billy Pipes really worked out well. I'm gonna leak Billy in the uh, description down below. So if you ever wanna uh, pick up a sump designed by him, uh, feel free to contact him. Here it is towards the end, algae's in the sump, um, the chocolate chip star which is still in my sump, it's still there. My uh, protein skimmer is turned on at this point. You can't really see the amount of uh, micro bubbles being pushed out through the bottom of it. But you can see that white haze in the middle section, the refugium section, that's all, pro that's all micro bubbles. And now I'm gonna look at the 
last stage, the return stage, which is pretty dark. It'll get light in a minute because I believe I'll switch on a light here in a second. There. You can see how clear that is. No micro bubbles are making it into that final section, which means the design really worked well. So there's my equipment and I have a lot of wire work, wire management to do. I'm checking my, my frame here to make sure that nothing's spreading, nothing's cracking, and that everything's still pretty much staying in the way. I really want to take this time to thank uh, Reefing with Billy Pipes and my buddy Glenn uh, for the assistance in getting this job done. Without their help, I'd probably still have a 20 gallon sump underneath my tank. So until next time, this is Scott, and I'll see you soon around the reef tank.